Because we are global in soul, but we are local in the heart. Even if you have never met somebody, you know about each other. This is a, a very positive globalization. That is not globalization. It's a very acting very local. It's a globalization because uh, we can know in one second what is going on in Tokyo, uh, Shanghai, Copenhagen uh, or Lima. But uh, it's very focused on local. It's almost like you want to put blinders on and not see what everybody else is doing. As the world gets smaller, it gets easier to see what you know, Dave Chang and Rene Redzepi are up to in the same day. You know, if you're living in Japan, you know, and so uh, yes, there's a there's a globalization. I, I, again, it's a, I think a lot of it is a function of the internet and. Uh, better lines of communication and how, how the world's just gotten smaller. Cooking is recognized in a different way where people really exchange and want to celebrate each other on the other side of the world and this invitation. We could think that glo this global world is confusing our, our, our identities and it's nothing about that, it's, it's totally the opposite. More than ever uh, people are looking for authenticity more than ever, we've been proud of our own cultures all over the world. More than ever, we're not imitating anybody. That doesn't mean we don't want to share. I mean, there, there's the globalization in terms of idea sharing and more opportunities for chefs to get together in person. But in my opinion, the greatest tool is also our worst enemy in regards of originality and creativity and it's the internet so i can pull out my phone right now and probably figure out what renee redzepi served either last night or right right now tonight and while that was an amazing thing say in 1998 2000 2002 when i was uh running my first kitchens to be able to find out what was happening at El Bui or something like that was this great creative tool but now it, it, again going back to that element of patience and that element of taking a taking a step slowing down and finding your own voice finding your true voice the internet's made that very difficult I don't think it creates group things, but I do think you, f you feed off each other and you do the same job, you know, so you have the same passions. I think you can look at a plate uh, from regardless and not know where it's from and you can, say, you can say, I see that chef on that plate or I wonder if that guy worked for that guy or that girl worked for that guy or that guy worked for that girl. Um, because I see elements of Chef X on the plate. But that's good, that means that if I see somebody's uh, imitating my style then the style's worth imitating and so that's that's a good thing. The way the young chefs are approaching right now it's extremely extremely important because the gastronomic tourism is looking for that. Is looking for some uh, very um, traveling to Emilia Romagna and taste the most amazing balsamic vinegar or the the the, the dream of uh, a Parmigiano Reggiano. They want to close their eyes and uh, taste uh, the best of the best of mythic uh, ingredients. As I travel to north of Europe or to Lima, it's the same way. Now it's time for regional foods, uh, for countries that you never knew before, that they had a great food, and to taste it the, the way they are. And in this diverse world, connected world, there are millions of people wanting to taste the flavors of the world.